of step by step getting him ready for Rio. Uh, all that's motivating. Um, having a guy from this program, Hawkeye Wrestling Club, going down to Rio and competing, uh, that's motivating. And it's motivating even though he didn't get what he wanted or what anyone else wanted. Because there's always room for improvement. So um, all those little things are, are reasons to be, be confident. How do you guys get over the hump? Individually, how do you get over the hump and stay on top of the podium this year as opposed to last year and then as a team? More efficient at wrestling. Um, we're notorious for wrestling hard, but along with hard wrestling comes smart wrestling, and smart wrestling comes efficient wrestling. Uh, there are some things that, in my two losses last year, that weren't very efficient, they weren't very smart. So I got to tune those in, and those biggest matches, that's when you got to be your tightest. Not your tightest, but, but um, most flawless. And if you're not your, your flawless, then that's where hard wrestling comes in, and you're going to overcome those flaws. But precision is going gonna, is gonna to take us to that next level because no one can hang with us as far as our pace and our mentality. And no one wants to go uh, go brawl with us, right? So we got to figure out their, their strategy and, and, and wrestle smarter than them. Not that we're going to strategize. We're still going to have a high pace, but, but wrestling efficiently with that high pace. So as a team, you mentioned a little bit ago, you know, fifth and first, it's close. So how do you bridge that gap to be first as opposed to fifth? Comes down, like you said, the end comes down to the individual. Um, we got some guys that kind of tailed off there once they got all American honors. Uh, I don't know whether they were comfortable with that or or not, but but it seemed like they're a little complacent with that, and they're all American. And that was good enough. Um, yeah, I'm kind of being harsh on them. I'm calling them out right now, but um, that's the difference. We need those guys coming back and getting the best they can get, and that's third. I mean, those guys get third. That's a whole different team race. Uh, we get those guys in the finals winning those matches, especially head to head, head to head with Penn State. Uh, me and 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 Sorensen there. Uh, that's a different team race there too. Um, they got knocked off at, at least one other way, I believe. So we knocked them off at those two head to heads, um, and then we get a couple of thirds in there, or fifths, or, or or higher than eighth. Then then we're looking pretty pretty good off. So at that final day, we got to we got to tune things in and, and we got to stay strong. You mentioned leadership and kind of that role. Is challenging guys, is that part of that? Does that come along with that? Just challenging guys to say, hey, look, don't settle for being all American. Right, of course. I uh, got, you know, they're not doing it for themselves at that point. They got to do it for the team and the community and, and everyone around them. Uh, that third day, you know, some, when you're on that backside, your body's not going to feel like doing it. You're not going to feel like doing it, but you got to get beyond that. You got to quit being selfish. You got to do it. Do it for somebody else because sometimes doing it for yourself isn't enough. So figure out something, whether it's you, whether it's your family, your God, or your team, or, or your community. You gotta do it for them. That's what that third day is gonna come down to, and that's gonna be the difference in the national title. You scored a lot of points last year. Um, I think you even finished in the top ten at the NCAA point scoring wise. Uh, but I think you might have said something to Isaiah Martinez that you're going to be, you know, the biggest point scorer. I mean, how do yeah. you take the next step? Because you're already scoring lots of points. How do you even keep improving? Uh, more pens. Uh, that's the first thing. Uh, I can put guys away. I had a couple opportunities last year where I was only getting tech falls, and I had guys on their back, but I didn't really put them away. And when I'm getting major decisions, I got to get those tech falls. And with those tech falls, it's going to come pins. You know, those guys are going to fold. They're going to fall over. Um, so, yeah. That's just part of taking the next step is just pushing the pace that much more and being more precise with my attacks and my wrestling. Uh, you know, I was kind of looking back as a little bit of a wild man last year. I just went out there and scored a lot of points, but I wasn't very, sometimes I wasn't very efficient. You know, I can, like I said, I can put guys away. You know, if I get them on their back, I got to tighten things down and, and put them away. So those are little ways that I can, can take that step. What do you think about the young guys entering the lineup this year? It seems like I think you're replacing five seniors from last team, last year's team. I mean, what do you think about the young guys coming in? Uh, they're motivated, um, and they're they're going to be held accountable, and they're going to want to they're going to want to do good because we're going to be you know right on their tails, you know, telling them they have no choice. Uh, we got some really tough guys stepping in there, so I'm excited to see how they do. You've been uh, pretty active on the freestyle scene uh, for a majority of your career. We didn't see you out at University Nationals. So, I mean, what, what kind of stuff were you doing this summer then? Uh, I, I wasn't competing, but I was still training. Um, I was here getting uh, Dan Dennis ready. Uh, that wasn't the only thing I was doing, but, but just training, getting my body feeling good, feeling healthy for the season. Uh, sometime, I mean, I competed uh, my first two years nonstop since I've been in college, so I needed a little break. Uh, last year and then this year, so uh, it was uh, maybe 
smart and tactical on our part, but there was still hard training going on. What do you think about, I mean, you talk a lot about that mental edge. How do you stay sharp? How do you stay focused, um, you know, throughout the season? It's a long season. It's, it's a grind. Yeah, it's my job. I mean, it's not hard to get stay focused when you have a job to do. And that's how I look at it. This is my job, and I have a job to do, and I come to come to work every day to get something accomplished. And, and when you look at it like that, it's not that hard to, to stay motivated because there's always something to improve on. There's always some way to get better. So.